How's it going, HHS? This is Natalie Morgan. And this is Declan Herr. And you're watching the latest HHS Today. In this episode, we'll meet some bus drivers, tour the Hiller store, and have even more. I see what you did there. First off, an important announcement. The Habitat for Humanity Club is holding a gingerbread house building and decorating competition for students and families of all ages this Saturday in the high school cafeteria. Admission is $10 to support a great cause. This club is a partner to, to build and repair homes for families in need. Help them bring families home for the holidays. For more information, reach out to Ms. Breen. Also, the Be Free Holiday Coffee House is tomorrow in the cafeteria. There will be live music, food, and a cookie decorating station. Admission is $5 and the event is also holiday themed. So wear your favorite holiday, holiday attire. And now, our first segment. Our own Fernanda visited with some of the school bus drivers. Check it out. What time does your day start? Um, I leave my house at quarter past five in the morning and a little after 5.30 in the morning I come to check my bus and I pick up my first students a little after 6.30. Oh well, we have to get up at, uh, I don't know, around 5, 5.30 in the morning, get to the bus yard around 6, 6, 6, 6 10 in the morning. At about 5 a.m. Oh, what's the best part of your job? Um, enjoying all the kids, especially during the holidays. You know, making sure the kids get there uh, safe to the school and get a good feeling about that when you get them there all safe and have no problem. I love the students. And what are your hobbies? Uh, I pretty much like building model airplanes and flying them. Big model airplanes flying at the airport down in Bridgewater. Um, let's see. Like all women, I like to shop, cook, um, but cake decorating basically and decorating. Yeah, just decorating everything. Hair, houses, cakes, yeah. As the holidays approach, I say we take the time to thank our bus drivers who get us to school and home safe every day. I would like to thank Jill from Bus 3. Next up, Colin dropped by the Hiller's Booster Store to see what was happening there. Oh, why do you like to work at the Hiller store? Well, um, I'm the operations manager here at the store, so I take care of all the volunteers, um, and I enjoy interacting with the students and, and helping to, um, to support the athletic programs, because all of our proceeds go directly to the high school athletic programs here at the high school, um, and just seeing everybody's faces coming in and saying hello. What is your favorite item in the Hiller store? Um, I, right now, our current favorite item, my current favorite item, is the Sherpa. These are brand new this year. They're nice and soft, and uh, we're actually getting more in in another color. What is one new thing you would add to the Hiller store? Um, I think the one new thing I would add is just more um, youth stuff. We carry that at this time of year, which is great. We have a whole bunch of it. What is one thing you would change about the Hiller store? Um, I would change the signage out front. Um, people have a hard time finding out when our hours are, and the volunteers have to drag the sign out to the street and drag it back in, which is not good in New England, especially when the weather's bad. Some more people to appreciate. The volunteers who run the store every day. Everybody loves their Hiller gear, so thanks for being there for us. Moving on to our next segment, the 18th annual Tap-Off Tournament was held recently, and I went to go capture some of the action. Tap-Off brings together more than 150 teams of the region's premier preseason travel tournament for town travel teams in grades 4 through 8, boys and girls. Looks like they had a great time. They did, and now we arrive at our last few announcements. As a member of Hopkinton Public Schools community, you are invited to attend the community forum. If you believe no one should be considered a stranger. If you believe that we can take a step forward from tolerance to acceptance. If you believe that acknowledging our differences is the key to understanding one another. If you believe we can really know each other. If you believe understanding breeds acceptance. If you believe we all have something to learn from each other, then join us at the Hopkinton High School Library on December 13th. This event is tonight at 6 p.m. in the HHS Library. The theme is If You Believe, because of teachers and students believing in the power of people better knowing and understanding each other. 
Also tonight, the HHS Chorus and Orchestra will be performing at 7 p.m. in the HHS Auditorium. Always a classy performance. Whew, that's a lot of stuff in this episode. I know, and we have more. HHS TV's Ben is back with a review of the movie, The Princess Bride. This is an online-only segment, so visit our website to see the awesome review and an awesome movie. Seriously, it's a great segment. And we're done here. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode. See everything we do at hhs.today. Tell us everything at hhstv at hillers.org. And until next week, stay classy. Bye. The Red House... Oh, sorry. Visited with some. Sorry. I'm gonna do a nice Mom's little. Finger comes into the. Today. In the, in the, the, the public schools. Co you're covering the words. Okay, there you go. There. You go. What is that? A comma or a period? Movie reveal. Oh, can we start? Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs>